Hey everyone, this is Justin from Level Up Lunch. In today's episode, we'll look at how we can sort a collection of objects using Java 8 syntax. To get us going, we've created an employee class uh, with a few different attributes, employee number, employee first name, employee last name, and hire date. And in our employee test class, we've created a list of employees uh, with a bunch of mock data that we'll use in our examples below. Prior to Java 8, if you, if you ever had to so sort, there's probably two different ways you, you went about doing this. You've created this uh, very verbose comparator that, um, you know, this one is by higher date, and you've created this comparator that you'll pass around to probably collections.sort. And uh, the behavior that was really driven by this is um, most often, instead of creating comparators, Java developers would say, oh my lord, um, you know, I'll just make another request to the database and pass in ascending or descending or, you know, this field to sort on. Um, with Java 8, it gets a little bit simpler in how we do this, so it might change that behavior a little bit. So if we look at by higher date, we can pass that into a collection, um, collections.sort with the employee and also the, the, uh, the comparator. Um, if you didn't like that way, the other way you, you may have gone about it is you've done a collections.sort and then um, performed a anonymous inner class or created an anonymous inner class that you'd pass to the collections.sort. That kind of trimmed down a little bit, um, but then it's not very flexible uh, in the way that you wanted to use that uh, you know, sort by employee first name, which uh, this anonymous inner class would do. If you want to do a reverse, you'd have to create another anonymous class and then, and then uh, go about that uh, that way. To get us started with some Java 8 syntax, we've created some snippets to help save us from some typing. So let's jump down to the Java 8 and let's see how uh, we can sort by employee number. Um, in Java 8, there is the concept of lambda expressions and we'll use that to create a function um, that will uh, know through type inference that it's a comparator. And uh, comparator, the comparator interface has a functional interface annotation, um, and that's how it knows um, that we can use this lambda expression. So this function will have two parameters, uh, E1 and E2. So it will say, okay, give me employee one and employee two that we want to compare. And then integer.compare uh, we will know that it will compare the employee number to the second employee number. Um, in the sorted method, so we'll have our, our array list and we'll convert it to a stream. And then um, one of the in intermediate operations that it has is sorted. Sorted has two different methods. One method you can pass in a comparator or one method you can actually just call sorted which will sort it by the natural order. In this instance, we want to sort it by employee number. So let's go ahead and run this, and then the for each will um, print it out for us. And we can see that, let's save this, we can see that it will sort it by the employee number. So 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, 5, and that will be um, an easy way to uh, sort with Java 8. Now, the other way we could have written this is we could have taken this, um, this function or this lambda expression, so we'll copy that, and we can stick that right into the sorted and it knows, um, oh, delete the semicolon there, and it knows that that's the functional, um, I'm sorry, that's the uh, lambda expression that, or the comparator that we want to pass to sorted. The second example we'll want to show today is uh, maybe derived from a use case, uh, get the longest tenured employee. So we'll want to order the uh, collection by hire date. So let's go ahead and jump down to our next test and insert the filter get first. Um, why I named it that way, I have no idea. But let's comment out the second part of this, um, this statement here and look at the, the, the first piece here. So we have our collection employees and then we want to convert it to a stream and then pass a lambda expression that will, um, con that will return a comparator and compare the hire dates. And we want that in ascending order, so we want the latest first, and then um, we can run this uh, and see uh, how it orders that. So running it here, we can see the latest hire date is first, so 
uh, April 12th of 1988, and then you can go along, down the line and see that it's ordered uh, correctly. So if we wanted, if, if we go back to the use cases, get the longest tenured uh, employee first, then we want to get the first element of the sorted stream, um, and we can do that by using a terminal operation uh, called find first. So I'm going to go ahead and comment out the first piece here, and then I'll comment out, uncomment the second part here. So it's the same uh, expression or the same lambda, lambda expression that we used before, uh, but then we want to use a terminal operation called find first. In optional, um, so the find first returns optional. And what optional does is it kind of wraps the, the object or the return type. So if there, is a, uh, if there is an element or the first element in the collection or the stream, then it will return that element. If there is not, it will return an empty optional uh, object. So let's go ahead and run this. And uh, by the order of this, we should see that Jack J Johnson is the first element or the, the uh, longest tenured employee. So let's run this here. And we do see that Jack Johnson is the, uh, the longest tenured employee. So prior to Java 8, when you did uh, multiple sorts, it got really ugly fast. So you created this comparator um, like we did above. And if we scroll up here real quick, you created this comparator, and then it had probably all this logic to do multiple comparators. Um, and then it gets really, really hairy fast. So what's really cool about Java 8 is that you're able to um, concatenate multiple comparators together. So let's see how we can do that. So we'll insert our last code snippet here, and we'll move this over. And so just like above, we've created two comparators, by first name and then by last name. And uh, we pass those comparators into the sorted, but we kind of use this special, um, special thing that's on the comparator called then comparing. So the first thing we want to do is compare the first name. So it'll order, order the collection by first name, and then the second thing it'll do, it will order it by last name. So after it's done the first name, it will then compare all the elements by last name. Let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks. And we can see that it orders uh, first name and then last name by the last uh, couple elements. So we have Pam, so Pam is first, and then Perry. Uh, and then it ordered Krauss and Node. So if we scroll up to our original elements in our list, we have Pam first, and then we have Perry uh, prior to that. So it has ordered those correctly. Hopefully this was an introduction to sorting and ordering within Java 8. Um, thanks for joining in today's Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.